Lord Buddha went out to receive alms on the streets of Rajgir, the capital of Magadha, during the rule of King Bimbisara. All citizens wanted to take advantage of this auspicious arrival. So they wanted to offer valuable things. State ministers, businessmen, moneylenders and locals also offered their gifts to him. Lord Buddha accepted them all with one hand. King Bimbisara also offered precious diamonds, pearls and gems to Lord Buddha. Lord Buddha gladly accepted everyone's gift with one hand. Old woman also came there with a stick. Bowed down to Lord Buddha and said, Lord, I got the news of your arrival, I also wanted to take advantage of your darshan. That's why I came here even with the help of a stick. I am blessed to have your darshan. I was eating this pomegranate at the time of your arrival, however, I had nothing valuable to offer to the Lord, so I decided to offer the half-eaten pomegranate from my plate. She went to Lord Buddha and presented the fruit to him expressing her deep reverence and admiration for him. And said, if you accept this trivial gift of mine, then I will consider it unfortunate. Lord Buddha held out both his hands and smiling lovingly accepted the half-eaten pomegranate gratefully and ate it. When King Bimbisara saw this he said to Lord Buddha, Lord, forgive me. I want to ask a question. We all gave you valuable and big gifts which you accepted with one hand, but you accepted the small and false fruit given by this old woman with both hands, why so? Hearing this Buddha smiled and said, King, you all have definitely given valuable gifts, but all this is not even a tenth part of your wealth. You have not done this donation for the welfare of the downtrodden and the poor, so this donation of yours cannot come in the category of best charity. On the contrary, this old lady, despite being so poor, has given me every morsel of her mouth. Even though this old lady is poor, she has no longing for wealth. That's why I accepted its donation with an open heart, with both hands. This story highlights the importance of pure intention and devotion in the practice.